Well, Lee, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know, do we get, uh, hey, look, yeah. we've even got Oz's water bottle oh, in the- Oh, snap. This is, we basically, that, that song was an ode to Oz. Ode to Oz. It? We got some Oz jazz masters, we got some fuzzy pedals, yeah. and we said, let's try not to play the usual blend. That of, wasn't uh, the usual blend, was it? <laughs> so. That was definitely not the usual quick blend. Quick video, he says, and then it comes a long one. Um, Jazz Master from the Player Series, but limited edition. Limited edition because the colours are cool, right? Olive green, black, matching headstocks. Don't get that in the normal Player Series. No. But the main thing is the normal Player Jazz Master has a pair of humbuckers, which of course is not particularly Jazz Master authentic. But no, these have um, the reissue 1965 USA, USA. Uh, Jazz Master Pure Vintage pickups. So these are the pickups that would be on the American original versions of yeah. these guitars, which yeah. are like a thousand pounds more expensive. Yeah, yeah. about 79 quid. These are about 749. 749. There's a link below. And right above that link is where you can subscribe and like. And what's other video in that corner? Yes. Please. Um, <laughs> what is not to like about uh, this guitar? I mean, I, Colour-wise, Color -wise, great they're really cool. Really, really cool. I mean, with the mat matching headstock on a Jazzmaster, I really love that stuff. You see, there's missing a few bits and pieces on here, Lee. There's not like the net, the, the traditional kind of wiring. No. It's different, it's different, it's different. I agree. Different. So let's talk about tones. Yeah. Because we've got a four-way selector, and uh, how is four going into three? Because, uh, you know, let's talk about that. Um, Hello. And then Jazzmaster-wise, uh, our good friend Matt at Monty's Pickups explained in a video many moons ago. Here's where that, the video's um, gonna get long, kids. No, 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 it won't. Basically, so a Jazz Master <laughs> is a single coil pickup, but with shorter pole pieces yes. than a, say, a Strat style, and that changes the, the, the uh, magnetic field and the tone of it, and that's why the Jazz Master has a sort of characteristically different tone. The size of the it comes in is a bit misleading in the sense that it's, you know, it's not designed to be bigger sounding than a normal single coil. It's just an aesthetic. It's flat and um, wound yeah. out like that so, instead. There uh, we are. Older body, maple neck, Palferro, Palferro board. The uh, seventh member of Il Devo, <laughs> Palferro. <laughs> Palferro! My name is Palferro. <laughs> uh, on the back here, you got the 75 uh, yes. anniversary logo there for Fender. And, uh, you know, normal tuners. Sort of a satin finish feeling neck, uh, you know, rounded board to to a, a certain degree, sort of slightly rounded, a little, bit. Little, little bit. Not for me, not for somebody like me, uh, and just a normal C-shaped fender neck. I would say. Yeah. Should we Come get on. some tones? Let's do the tones. Um, I like the fact also that these have got the the proper Jazz Master or like the Mustang bridge on it, right? It is the Mustang so, bridge, not so, the Jazz so, Master bridge. So when you're, doing, when you're doing that, and then the string falls off, or you do that. It's get bleh, it falls off down there. Uh, and it doesn't do it on these ones. You have to use more force. Like may the force. Darth be. Vader. <laughs> yeah, may yes. the force be with you. Um, anyway, here's some tones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's some tones. There's a G chord on the neck pickup. There it is. The arm is long. The long arm of the law. Oh, oh. I'm plugged into the arms oh. actually. What? I plugged into the Rockefeller 100 uh, and into that cab because everybody goes, why are you not using the Rockefeller 100 in the background? That reminds me, Pete, reminds doing you. another video soon, maybe even later today or tomorrow, because uh, Orange have released uh, an amp called the Super Crush. Uh, Super Crush. Some people I've seen on YouTube claiming that, is this the end of Valve, you know, because it's so good. Uh, and I thought what we'll do to, is we'll just literally, we'll, we'll dust off the old Rock of Herb 100 that we've got there, which is a valve amplifier, play it next to the Super Crush through the same cab, Come and on. we'll decide, is it the end of valve? But that's another video for another day. Today, we're just going to focus on the Jazzmaster.
Yes, Mazder. Now the, the Mazder. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna go straight back to the uh, bridge now because then the other position two and three is gonna be different. So. Jangly, isn't it? It is jangly. That is literally. <laughs> that was such a when in when I was at school and and probably a student. So late eighties, mid to late eighties. Um, Can't remember that far back. There was a real British indie kind of scene pre Oasis, maybe even pre. Stone Roses, you know, I'm sort of talking Smiths and all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. And there was a real kind of Brit indie sound. I used to follow a band called the Blue Aeroplanes, and it was very, very jangly. That reminded me, that kind of... No, 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 I don't think it was a big... <laughs> Let's follow the Blue Aeroplanes. I don't, I don't think it was like that. It was just... It, was just, um, it just took me back. That sound Chase the dragon. is of... Yeah, is no, of, uh, I mean, it is... is a, it's a... I don't think they knew that many chords, to be honest with Maybe it's <laughs> but, but it is like the, the intro, isn't it? It's that kind of, yeah. it's that kind of jangliness. Anyway, so in the, in the I'm going to check, I'm going to go and listen to them on the way home, the Blue Aeroplanes. I haven't listened to that band for like 30 something years. And, and then uh, you're going to go, what happened to no, me? No, no, but they were good. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so here's... <coughs> Okay, so let's talk about something else that's exclusive, exclusive to these guitars. This is that four-way switch here, the four-way blade. How right. does four go into three, well, Mr. Pete? Well, 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 funny you should ask that. Uh, this is, now I'm just going to go from, from this pickup and then position two, three and four. So this is the bridge position. You can hear. And then I'm going to position two. One is parallel and one is serious, right? Yes. <laughs> That's the neck. That's three. That's two. Normally play, associate... Play the individual notes on two and three, because that was much easier okay. to hear. Okay, so... That was two. Here's three. I mean, I, would, I think this is more like a humbuggery yeah, sound. I, I, it's fatter. Well, well this one is... To me, sounds more like when you have two single coil pickups on a strat together. Yes, and yeah, then the yeah, other setting yeah. sounds more like the, a, a the, humbucker. This one. Mm. Or does it? Or does it? I mean, that's. But that's the mean. idea. So the four yeah. way, the, the four way switch is basically your two extreme Ooh. settings. This pickup, this pickup, and then the middle one is you can have these two in parallel or these two in series, which yeah. is kind of cool. It's actually uh, a modification that um, Pete has on his Telecaster, which yeah. is kind of cool yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a, um, well, it's 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 got this S one switch it, yes. on it. So, so yes, what it does, it's got the middle mm. position still, but once mm. you're in the middle position, you can click Doesn't it the, in, and then it goes isn't into humbuckers. Player Plus have a four telly have a four way blade on it as well, I or is that a button? So. I think so. We it's do so many videos, blade. they all sort of meld into meld one. Into one. Yeah, it's, They're all guitars it's, with six strings. I think we've kind of decided Seven that when eight. you've got two guitars with, sorry, when you've got guitars with two single coil pickups on it, that series parallel kind of mod thing, that's that's probably one of those most usable switching uh, options that we've Yeah, that when you've got that across. humbucker, fatter tone, um, you know, which is really nice. So look, so that's, that's kind it. of, Do you want to do some gain really quick, man? Yeah, do some gain. It's a good sounding amp. We should use that more. We should use that more. Oh my bad. Um, my back. So mine is the my Laney back. Super Cub rig um, yes, with my sort of affordable it. pedal.
Sounds muffy. A little bit. Um, <laughs> I can't tell you what that pedal is. It's a super secret surprise it's for a video coming later this year with myself and Rob Chapman. Muff, 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 um, muff, muff. So... Well, there we are. Uh, look, I mean, wait, let's just put a normal, like my Nobles ODR. Let's go for ambience. You can have a lot of fun with a with a jazz master yeah, for sure. You can um, have a lot of fun tuning it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, look. So end of the go. video. Yeah, end of um, the video. Seven four nine links below. Yes, I cool must colors. admit I'm fairly sure. In fact, I'm positive that Chicago Music Exchange also have an exclusive on these in America. Yeah, they do. Uh, so check their website out if that's where you live. But if you're this side of the Atlantic, UK, EU, whatever, then yes, we can do this for you. 7.49. So there it's we okay, are. Right. Right. Thank you very Good. much, everybody. Um, that's enough, I think. Now it tune is. in next it time is. for another video on Anderson's TV. Woohoo! <laughs>